What is up guys, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve handwriting and recognition on Windows 10. So before we get into it, I want to answer the question of why would you want to improve the handwriting and recognition in Windows 10? Well, if you're like me, you use your computer to take notes, to write, to draw, basically as a digital notepad. One of the great things about Windows 10 is that you can convert that handwritten ink into text. Everybody's handwriting is different and honestly quite messy. So the computer can sometimes have a hard time understanding exactly what you're trying to write. So with improved handwriting recognition, you can train the computers to understand your handwriting. So if you've got a G that looks like an A or a Z that looks like a 3, you can train the computer to understand exactly what your handwriting looks like so when you convert that ink to text, it is a near perfect result. And with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is get into your settings. You have a few different ways to get there. I'm going to show you how to get there using the touch screen, which is a great time to remind you, if you want to see my tips and tricks on using Windows 10 touch screen, check out the link up here. Wherever it pops up, check out the link. And with that being said, let's get back to it. So I'm going to swipe in from the right hand side. My action center is going to pop up and I'm going to find the settings option, which is all settings just here. I'm going to open that up and it's going to take me to my settings. And here you see I've got a whole bunch of different settings. It's cool. Windows 10 indexing is really quite good. So instead of having to find out which one of these options it falls into, I'm just going to go find a setting. I'm going to type in pen. And you can see the first option that opens up is pen settings. So this is where you can customize it to suit your preferences. The first option is choosing whether you're right or left-handed. For me, I'm right-handed. I'm going to leave that as right-handed. The second four options allows you to show visual effects and cursors. I like them, I leave them on all the time. The third option of using my pen as a mouse in some desktop apps. I never really use that feature, but if you want to, you can turn it on and try it out. But I definitely recommend using the option to ignore touch input when using my pen. And basically what this means is that when your pen is around, as you can see my pen is on the screen, my hand can't select any options because it knows that I'm trying to write. So this is really handy if you lean your arm on the screen and you're writing and drawing. Having the input touch option turned on means that you can rest your palm on the screen and you're not going to have accidental touches. So I always recommend turning that on. Next is adjusting your handwriting. Here is where you can change the size of the font, what handwriting you want it to convert into, when should the keyboard field open up. For me, I like to leave these as standard settings but the button that I want you to press is this one right here, Improve Recognition. This is where you can train the computer to understand your handwriting. So if I select Improve Recognition, I'm going to have a few different options pop up. The first one is to target specific errors. So this is if your I's turn into 1's or your G's turn into A's, whatever it may be, you can target specific errors. You can specify an exact word or you can go similar shapes. So for example, if I choose similar shapes, it's going to ask me which characters I want to target. Do my Z's look like 2's that look like Z's that look like 3's? Or my S's look like 5's that look like 8's? This is where you can target specific characters. So if I select the Z's, it's going to ask me to draw Z, capital Z, five times. Then it's going to ask me to draw some number 2's. And you can see here that my handwriting is really quite messy, right? I don't like that last set, so I'm going to erase that, save, and now you have the option to update and exit, so it's going to update just the, your Z's and your 3's, or you can provide more handwriting examples to improve the recognition even further. So if you just wanted to target the Z's, you can, but for now, we're going to provide more examples. For me, I actually recommend using the second option of teach the recognizer your handwriting style. This way you're going to get different sentences, numbers and symbols to write out so it has more information to learn your handwriting style. So if I go to sentences, it's going to tell me to write a group of different sentences. Keep on listening, semicolon, I hear the jazz music nearby. Cool, so I've done a few examples and you can tell that I have terrible, terrible handwriting. But I can guarantee you that if you go through and teach the computer how you write, spend 20, 30 minutes just going through some of these examples, 
Its recognition of your handwriting will improve drastically. And it is that simple to improve your handwriting recognition on Windows 10. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what else you want to see. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.